In the U.S. alone, during 2017 and 2018, there were 30 separate billion-dollar weather and climate disasters. According to NOAA's National Centers for Environmental Information, these disasters caused cumulative damage worth more than $400 billion. So companies around the world are taking notice and taking into account literally how climate change could affect their bottom line. We've been asking companies to provide for us what are the risks you see or the opportunities from climate change or from water insecurity or from deforestation? How does this impact on your business planning? Nicolette Bartlett is co-author of Major Risk or Rosy Opportunity, Are Companies Ready for Climate Change? The report was published by CDP, a UK-based nonprofit that's collected corporate climate data for nearly 20 years. First, the bad news from 215 of the world's biggest companies. We saw significant potential risks um, around, uh, you know, nearly one trillion dollars worth of risks that these companies say could materialize for them in the next five to seven years um, if they are not managed by either the company or, or society writ large. There are two ways climate impacts could hurt businesses. You've got the physical risks and you've got the flooding risks. And we've seen this all over the United States in the last few years, all over Europe and Japan. In 2018, it was too little rain and unrelenting heat that contributed to California's most destructive wildfire season on record. A very recent example is PG&E, the big utility in California. They knew there was a big wildfire risk. They've been reporting that to us. But that risk and the damages from those wildfires were far higher than they thought they would be. In May of 2019, Cal Fire investigators said that the campfire was caused by electrical lines owned by PG&E, which had already filed for bankruptcy protection four months earlier. The other climate-related risk companies face is transition risk, getting left behind as consumers switch to more environmentally friendly products and services. Car companies in particular who've had to shift their investments from motor vehicles in the traditional sense to electric vehicles because that's part of the clean economy. And that's where the good news comes in. Participating companies reported climate-related money-making opportunities to the tune of $2.1 trillion, more than twice the amount of estimated losses. For me, it really showed that on the other side of this risk is an opportunity, that economists have been saying this for a long time, that actually there is more value in us investing in the change and the transition, and that we can generate a lot of income and wealth and, and, and opportunities for employment from it. The responding companies also said most of these potential opportunities and risks will play out much sooner than later, in just five to seven years.